Hi guys, so if you followed me on Instagram, I mentioned that I was going to do a video on my favorite vegan substitute products. So these are things that would be typically made with meat or dairy or eggs, but are now being made with something else like almond milk or oil or soy or things like that. So for the last few weeks, I've been really exploring lots of different items. Um, and so I have a bunch of them here and to give you my review on how they taste, uh, you know, the similarities and the differences and such like that. Um, all of these I really, really like. So um, these are some of my favorite products. So if you are craving that meat texture or, you know, some really good cream cheese, I've got that for you. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to support me in putting out my content and my travels, I do have a GoFundMe in the description down below. If you want to donate, that would be awesome. All right, let's get on to the products. So all of these I have gotten in my local supermarket, Hannaford. Um, I'm sure you can get these in most grocery stores. I'm not sure about outside of the US, but I feel like these are becoming much more popular. So even if they're not in your country yet, I'm sure they'll be there soon. Um, but these are a bunch of the products that I have tried and I just really think they are great substitutes, if not better. Okay, so for the first one, of course you guys are all probably wondering, um, these are all the meat products <laughs> that I've tried so far. Actually, I've tried these brands so far. I haven't tried all of these items yet. I got some more today and I'm really excited to try them out because what I've tried so far has been amazing. Um, and those are the Guardian brand. Guardian, yeah. So this is a brand that is, um, I'm pretty sure all vegan, but a couple of their products don't say always vegan on them, which is up here. So I'm kind of confused as to whether those are vegetarian or not. But at, when I looked at the ingredients, it seems to be that they're all vegan. So these are the ones I tried out first, and these are the seven grain crispy tenders. Um, I was actually shown these by my friend Marielle. Um, it was one of those days where she's like, I just want some comfort food. I just want some chicken fingers, like, you know, just some really bad chicken fingers, you know, like from McDonald's. And she's like, these are actually really, really good. Um, and so I, I had a bite and I was really surprised. Like if I didn't know they weren't chicken, I would have thought they were chicken. Like they were like the texture, the taste, everything. I love to make these up with some tater tots or French fries and just have like a really ni nice, like comfort food lunch or whatever. Um, it's probably not the healthiest in the world, but it's definitely not meat and it's vegan. So, and it's also made with non-GMO ingredients um, and it's kosher. So that's really cool, made with plant protein. So the thing about meat is meat is the only thing that we eat that has cholesterol in it or bad cholesterol that causes heart disease. So if you remove animal products from your diet, you are no longer gonna have a cholesterol issue, which is pretty amazing. Um, there's a lot of documentaries on that. The, the best one I have found so far is Forks Over Knives, which I'll link down below in the description, um, talking about that. But this, um, so this has no cholesterol and it's only 100 calories per serving. I'm not sure how much a serving is on these. I haven't looked. Uh, one serving size is two pieces. All right, so I usually have like four, but whatever. Um, but anyway, these are really, really good. I was very surprised. So once I had these, I was like, man, I want to check out their other products. So unfortunately, the other product I have from Guardian, they didn't actually have at the store today, which I was kind of bummed because I was really looking forward to buying it again. And that was their chicken teriyaki. Now, I was kind of curious to see how that was because whereas these are breaded, the chicken teriyaki wasn't. So I was curious about the texture. So it has a teriyaki sauce. You cook it up for about eight minutes in a pan, blah, blah, blah. All the just instructions are in the back, of course. And, um... I tried it out and oh my gosh, like even my mom, who's not vegan, tried them and she's like, wow, like these taste like chicken. And I mean, I wouldn't say it's like the taste of like perfect organic chicken, but it, it, it tastes like processed chicken, which processed chicken isn't great, of course, but considering the texture, like it really tasted like chicken. Like I was really, really surprised and I was like, wow, like this actually would definitely be a perfect substitute for eating meat. So I wanted to get more of that and put like actual like fresh veggies in it and make kind of a teriyaki thing, which I wasn't able to do this time. So hopefully they'll have it next time. So the other two products that I really want to try out, which I will give you guys a review later on, um, is their Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken. So I'm really excited to try this out. I think I'm going to put this with my vegetables and see how it turns out. And I think it's going to be really awesome. If it's any indication of how good their stuff is like in the other two, things like this is gonna be great and then i'm trying this fish free fillets um and it's like you know like fish 
it's like fish fillet. So, um, this is the one I was talking about. This doesn't actually say, um, vegan, uh, always vegan. So I was kind of like curious as to whether it was vegan or not, but I looked at all the ingredients and I didn't see anything. Oh, it does right here. Cedar fried vegan. Okay, cool. So I'm surprised why it doesn't say it on the front, like the other stuff. And so this is vegan as well. So I'm very curious to see how these are. Um, they also have meatballs and ground beef and steak tips, I believe. I'm not really like a red meat type of person, so I didn't really go for those. But if I'm ever looking for a good meatball sub, I'm definitely probably going to go for these. So I would definitely give these a two thumbs up, and that's the uh, Guardian meat product. So I just found them in the frozen section at Hannaford. So definitely go check that out. All right, so the next thing which I was really excited about was I found a really awesome vegan burger. Now, I've been eating veggie burgers for a while, but when I went vegan, I was looking at the ingredients and I was like, oh, there's eggs in these. So I wasn't able to do that. So I was kind of having a hard time finding a vegan burger, but I finally found it. And um, these are the original vegan veggie burgers by Boca. And I actually just opened these when I got home because I wanted to give you guys a good idea of what they tasted like. And I was actually really surprised. My feeling on it was this actually tastes more like a burger than like the veggie burgers I was eating. The, the main thing that I noticed is it has a real smoky like grilled taste, which I thought was really interesting. The texture was pretty good. If you like veggie burgers, you'll definitely like these. Um, they're kind of like a lighter patty, so it doesn't have that like real intense like red meat thing going on, but it was great. If you like veggie burgers, this will definitely be a good substitute will be a good substitute if you're switching over from veggie burgers to vegan burgers. So that's Boca. I definitely want to try some other brands to get some ideas, but this was pretty good so far, so I definitely suggest it. All right, so the next products I'm going to talk about are more of my dairy products. Um, and I've been really excited about these because even before I went vegan, I found out I was lactose intolerant. So these are products that I've kind of been using for a little longer, and they've been absolutely fabulous. All right, so the first one has been a total lifesaver, and that is my vegan butter, which is from Earth Balance, which is non-GMO and it's a vegan. This stuff tastes just like butter. Like I can put this on a, like an untoasted piece of bread, put it on there for like eating with pasta and it literally just tastes like butter. It's so good. It's kind of probably like in between like kind of a butter margarine taste, but this stuff is amazing. It's made with uh, vegetable oils. Um, yeah, it's vegan no trans fats, gluten-free, non-dairy, blah, blah, blah. It's, um, oh, no MSG. This stuff is amazing. Like, and, and it goes like, this lasts me like forever. So it looks like that. It's really nice and spreadable. And I cook with this. I basically anything I'd use butter for. I use this and it has been great. Even my mom and Marielle who aren't like full on vegans, they use it all the time. And my stepmom who also isn't vegan, um, but is trying to cut out dairy is going for this as well. So this is a great substitute. So that's the Earth Balance Original. They have a couple other products, um, other but butter products. So um, if you find that in the store, you'll probably see their other ones. They have different color packaging, but this is the original and it's been absolutely awesome. All right, so the next one is cheese. Now I don't eat a lot of cheese because since I was little, cheese always gave me a stomach ache, shocker. I'm, you know, lactose intolerant, but cheese was like pretty obvious. Like with milk and butter, it was a little harder to tell. Um, but cheese has always been kind of like a thing for me. So cutting out cheese wasn't a huge issue, but occasionally, you know, you want some cheddar for those tacos or, you know, on, the, on a salad or whatever. And so this is what Marielle uh, showed me. This is the Daya shredded cheddar cheese. It also comes in um, like squares to put on like a sandwich, like, um, you know, like a sandwich square kind of thing. I don't, I forget what those are called. Um, slices. Um, now this, I would say, doesn't taste like a hundred percent like cheddar. It, it's... I think if you're looking for a cheddar substitute, this will work, but I wouldn't say like this tastes exactly like it, but it's definitely a good cheese substitute. And I think they also have a mozzarella, which I haven't actually tried. So I, I would like to try that, but I don't really eat mozzarella all that much. Um, so this of course is dairy free. Um, I do make a really good mac and cheese with this and it's pretty good. Like again, it's, it's not exactly like making Kraft macaroni and cheese, but like it definitely hits the spot if that's what you're craving. Um, and so I'd highly recommend this. So maybe not as like a specific cheddar substitute, but it's definitely a good cheese substitute. Um, and it's been really, really good. So um, I definitely suggest that. Diet is great. They're like, I'm pretty sure all their products are vegan. Um, also another one, which I don't have here, but me and Marielle tried out the Daya cheesecake and we got it in lime and everyone didn't really like the lime, but 
like to me it tasted like lime cheesecake so i'm curious as to what like the normal one tasted like but i actually thought it was pretty good um everyone did admit that it was the lime that probably threw them off like the consistency and the taste itself of the cheesecake was like really good um i think everyone just didn't like the lime I did. Um, I'm curious to try out their um, raspberry cheesecake. That looks really good, but also just like the plain one. I'd be curious as to see what it tastes like. But Daya has been pretty good so far, so I'd, I'd highly recommend that as well. All right, so this next one was huge, and I just found it like two weeks ago, and I was like almost overcome. Like, I was really excited, and I think I mentioned this in another video. Um, I found vegan cream cheese, which for some reason I was like, that probably isn't a thing because it's so dairy. Of course, it was cheese and butter, I guess. So, um, but I found cream cheese and Mario was a little skeptical because she had tried a different brand. I'm not sure which one it was, but I was like, no, 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 this is actually really good. And when she tried, she was like, wow, this is like legitimate. So I would say that this is like, if you can imagine cream cheese and then with a slight aftertaste of like a slight yogurty taste. And when you smell it on its own, it smells like yogurt. But on a bagel, you really can't even tell the difference. Like, once you have a bite or two and you're like, oh, it's slightly different from normal cream cheese. Like, after a bite or two, you're like, oh, it's cream cheese. Like, the consistency is great. The flavor is great. It's awesome. Um, my stepmom had it on a piece of toast with some slices of cucumber. I really want to try that because I, like, really miss that. So I want to see how that works out. But this is honestly, like, of all of these, I would say, I mean, maybe aside from maybe the butter, this is one that's like you really can't tell like if anything you might just be like oh is this a different brand like it's really on point so this is the tofu tea i think that's the brand but it's better than cream cheese i found this just in the cream cheese area at hannaford it's called better than cream cheese and this is what it looks like so i don't know you guys i mean this is made with soy a lot of people don't like soy um i, I think a lot of these are made with soy so these are kind of like you know, my guilty pleasure foods. Like obviously most of the stuff I want to be eating is whole foods and plant-based things. But these are the things that, you know, just everyone's I'm like, oh my God, I just want a bagel with cream cheese. And so, and bagels are um, vegan as well, thank God. Um, but I hadn't had a bagel and cream cheese in like over a year because I just didn't even know cream cheese existed for vegans or non-dairy people. So when I found this, I was like, oh my God. And this is has no gluten in it as at all either. So and no cholesterol, see, animal products, how awesome is that? So anyway, definitely check this out if you're craving some cream cheese because I sure hell was and it's just, it was like a whole thing, so check that out. I wanna mention too that no one's paying me to review these or anything like that. These are all my like personal, personal feelings on these. But if any of these companies wanna pay me for advertising their stuff, feel free, I have no issue with that. <laughs> Up next is vegan ice cream, which is so, 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 so exciting. So, so this is organic and this is so delicious, dairy free. And they have coconut milk ice cream. They have cashew milk. I think they may have almond milk, but this ice cream is really, really good. I personally find that depending on the flavor, um, the coconut milk or the cashew milk is better depending like sometimes it tastes a little too coconutty for me and other times it's fine this is my favorite a lot of these ice creams i will say as like a disclaimer are really really sweet and they don't have a mint chocolate chip which i feel like they need to really get on like immediately because mint chocolate chip like duh um but this one i found was a little less sweet so it was pretty good but this is the cookie dough one i've tried their salted caramel um their fudge one the chop their chocolate um is really good too that's not super sweet um but this is really great ice cream like if you're craving ice cream like this is definitely it's not even a substitute like it's, it's just as creamy it's just as good it's really awesome um my stepmom again who's cutting out dairy was trying these and she kind of had a little moment too she's like i didn't think i could have ice cream anymore i'm like no like you definitely can so um i definitely suggest this, this is a great ice cream brand um if you go on to instagram and type in honest to goddess she has another ice cream on her instagram that apparently was really good but i haven't tried it so definitely check that out as well so yeah this was pretty great and it's organic so awesome all right so my next product is more of like an egg substitute kind of thing um and this has been absolutely amazing i've actually come to like this better than the original which is mayonnaise and this is soy free veganaise better than mayo and it's uh, follow your heart with a little lotus. So lovely. This stuff, you guys, is awesome. Like, again, I like this better than normal mayonnaise now. And um, it's really great. I, my favorite thing to use this for, aside from like burgers and sandwiches, 
is putting it on my avocado toast. Oh my god, it's like a whole experience. If you guys are interested in my avocado toast recipe, which is like a whole thing, I have a couple different variations and they're pretty magical. If you guys are interested, I can do a video on um, that, on making my vegan toast. And also the, the mac and cheese I talked about earlier, I can do a tutorial on that as well if you guys are interested. But this is non-GMO, uh, verified, and it's uh, egg-free and gluten-free. So definitely check that out, it's awesome. You do have to get this in the refrigerated section. It's not with the normal mayonnaise. I forget exactly. It might be near the eggs, I think. But there is no eggs in this, but you do have to keep this refrigerated. So um, definitely check that out if you are craving some mayonnaise. And the last little guilty pleasure, which I didn't necessarily need, but now that I have it, I need it. <laughs> and I was kind of sad. I've always been a huge lover of Nutella. And I was like, oh, I probably won't be able to find it, but I found a vegan Nutella substitute, and I will say, it's pretty on point. Um, it's one of those things where if you're really craving Nutella, this will still hit the spot. Um, and I would say it's probably like 90% the same tasting. It's a little, it has a slight, um, like in the jar, it has kind of like a gritty like texture to it, but once you put it on toast or something, it's completely smooth, so that's great. So that's the Endangered Species Chocolate natural hazelnut spread with cocoa and it looks like this and I found it in the same section in Hannaford as or maybe this might have been market basket this might have been market basket um, and it was it's really good so this is vegan it's gluten free and the cool thing is it's our 10% promise 10% of our net profits are donated to nonprofit partners that protect and preserve wildlife so there's an elephant on here so I thought that was really like a cool other thing um, and it's certified sustainable palm oil, so I'm not sure what that means exactly. Um, but this is really cool and it's got cane sugar in it. No, oh, but anyway, either way, it's vegan, so that was really exciting. So this was also very good as well. So that's all the products I have so far for you. Um, I'm sure later on in a few of my favorites videos, some of some new products will come up and some of these old ones if I test them, uh, specifically like the fish fillet and, and the crispy mandarin chicken. Um, Mandarin Orange, yeah. Um, so I'm sure they'll be in some of my favorites, but that's so far what I've, what I've found. And I feel like this kind of is a good across the board thing. You know, we've got meat, we've got dairy, we've got eggs. Um, and honestly, like, I don't like, like, if something's not good enough, like, as a substitute, like, I just won't eat it. Like, I have no interest in having something that's, like, not good, just be like, oh, I'm having meat, or, oh, I'm having ice cream. Like, I want it to taste either the same, or I just won't have it, because it's just kind of a letdown if it doesn't. So I genuinely feel like these are all really, really good substitutes. So definitely try them out, and comment down below what you think of them, or if you've tried them before, definitely let me know what you think. Um, these have been great, and I really, as a vegan, like, I'm definitely eating more vegetables, I'm definitely eating all that, and that's been awesome, but I don't really feel like I'm lacking in anything. Like, all the little, like, I mean, it's not constantly, but every once in a while, I'll just have that craving, and these definitely cover that really well. So if you are deciding to go vegan, and you're feeling like you're gonna have, you know, feel like, oh, I'm just gonna have to, like, let go of so much, like, you really don't. You can be ethically vegan, you can be health conscious, and save the planet, um, and, you know, environmentally, and still have these things. It's really amazing. Like, they've really gotten good at copying what we're no longer eating. <laughs> they've gotten really good at it, and I'm really happy about that. I mean, I just think even 10 years ago, we wouldn't have had any of this. And it's amazing that you can just go to your local grocery store and, and get all of this. Like, it's amazing. I've got, I got all of this at Hannaford, I believe, aside from maybe the, um, the Nutella substitute, which you can probably get it handed for it anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Again, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it's all about the soul journey.